the only purpose of your portfolio's landing page is to engage people so that they don't click away. You want to reassure them that they've come to the right place, especially if they are hiring managers, and that they're looking at a suitable candidate. If your page isn't clear, people may just move on to the next candidate, sometimes even without looking at any of your work. This is why you need to nail your hook and introduction. So what's a good hook? A good hook needs to be visually appealing and clear, even if you don't specialize in visual design. After all, we are visual beings and we rely on our visual perception to gather initial impressions. So the aesthetic look of your portfolio should not turn people off. Once people start processing what's on your front page, they need to find your content valuable. In the case of a portfolio, this content is mostly about you and your work, and the best way to introduce all this is with a well-written headline. An effective hook should ultimately lead people to carry on browsing your portfolio, read maybe a couple of case studies, and contact you. So now let's focus on the main piece of your hook, the headline. Here are some pointers to write your headline. First, it has to be short and concise to be able to grab people's attention. 60 words maximum. It should give a snapshot of who you are and what you do. Let's take a few common angles that you can experiment with. For example, you can focus on your role, saying something like, I'm a junior UX designer specialized in mobile interaction and VR. Or you can focus on your industry, for example, I'm a UX designer working in the B2B finance and highly regulated spaces. You can focus on your value proposition, for example, I'm a product designer who helps project drive user engagement and retention. Or maybe your processes. For example, I'm a UX and product designer who connects data-driven insights with user empathy. You can also mix different angles. For example, you could say, I'm a UX and product designer specializing in accessibility with a background in marketing and communication. But whatever angle you go for, it should allow you to distinguish yourself from other candidates so that people remember you more easily. Try to avoid statements that can be claimed by 80% of the candidates. For example, saying that you're passionate about design doesn't really set you apart. Saying maybe that you're passionate about cognitive design with a background in psychology is already something more unique. Once you have a headline that seems to make sense for you, don't forget to test it. Remember, we designers always seek to validate our decisions by testing them in the real world. You can try your headline with a mentor, other students, etc. Is it easy to read? Clear? Does it do a good job at introducing you? Now let's talk about photos. Should you add one next to your headline? Usually, we don't recommend using photos on resumes, but portfolios are different. They are personal to you, so you can definitely add a picture of you or your work environment in your portfolio's landing page or about me section if you wish to do so. 